Hi, I'm Ali and welcome to my channel. This is my Woolworths weekly shopping haul that I'm sharing with you. It is a Friday. It's Friday the 2nd of December. Normally I shop on a Saturday. Uh, this weekend I have a market that I need to be at by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning and I won't be packing up till after 6. So I'll miss the shops and then I've got another market on Sunday. So I have had the day off work. I've got a great company that I work for. I bank some extra hours, so I've had a Friday off. So today's my weekend, and here is my shop. So this will need to get us through until I can get to the shops again next weekend. I've had some wins and I've had some not wins, but I'll go through that with you. So to start with, now we are a family of three, in case you are new. Um, myself, my husband, and my 13-year-old son. I tend to just shop once a week. I do, uh, if I can get a chance, go to the local fresh fruit and veggie shop to get a little bit of an add-on during the week. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. We just see how we go, but generally this is like 90% of my shopping. So the first thing we have is a piece of the Woolworths Gourmet Smoked Ham. This is $20.50 a kilo. It was $11.89, just over half a kilo today. My son has this in his sandwiches. Uh, we, he has ham and cheese. He's only got a couple of weeks of school left. So I've got a smaller piece. Hopefully that'll get us through. And then we'll obviously have a Christmas ham. So we've got that. Now I was very excited. I've had a win with dog food. So I have three kilo rolls of dog food. It's the VIP Pet Foods. Um, I'm not sure if it's new packaging. I don't recall seeing this one before. Uh, but I've got my three rolls, which will get us three. That'll be nine meals for our two German Shepherds because they have biscuits and things as well. I couldn't get just two because that wouldn't have got me through until next week. Um, and I did feel very guilty because when I walked in there, there were only four on the shelf. I took three. By the time I walked back past, the other one was gone as well. So, sorry, but... Oh, I mean, not sorry, because I've missed out on other weeks before. So I didn't know what to do. I've grabbed what I needed. Um, but then if I do see some next week, obviously, um, if I don't need them, I won't take them. But I did need them this week. So they were $6.40 a roll, total of $19.20. But that will get my doggies through the week. So I'm very happy about that. Now, I saw this. This was in the clearance section in the freezer department. It's a Woolworths, it's chicken and cheese party pack. It has six cheesy chicken bites, six mozzarella sticks and 24 spicy chicken popcorn. So it's a 36 piece pack, it's 600 grams. Now this was actually on clearance. It was, um, where are we? It was a $6 and it was a $8 saving. So it was normally, oh, so what was that, six? and eight it was six, normally sixteen dollars and it was marked down to six no normally fourteen dollars because it was a saving of eight that's right i'm just all over the place today sorry about that normally my maths is way better but i saw this and thought this is a good one to pop in our freezer we do quite often have nights when we're all home during the holidays we'll have a picky platter it'll either be hot or it'll be cold um, we'll have a couple of drinks and play some music videos on YouTube, on the TV, things like that. My son calls it a YouTube party. So we'll quite often do that. It's a great big box. And I thought, well, that'll be good to stash in the freezer. And it was the only one on the shelf. So thinking they might be going out of those. So I did get that. And also while I was in the freezer section, because I was feeling a little bit lucky that I was getting things and not wanting to miss out, here is our turkey for Christmas. So this is the turkey breast. It's only the one kilo because it is only the three of us home. And I'm just going to stick it straight in the freezer. They were $16. They did have the two kilo ones for like $30. But the two kilo one I think will be way too big for us. Um, the kilo will be much better. And I'm going to get a ham as well. So I've got that one. And I have also spent my Woolies rewards dollars today. So that's what they were for, to stash things for Christmas. Now, our Farmers Union Greek style yogurt, I've managed to get the vanilla bean one and the plain one today. So, win win. They were $6 each. I like the plain one. My husband and son like the vanilla bean one. So, I got both of those today. Uh, we got our litre of Harvey Fresh Harlow milk. So, this was $2.90. 
And then the Tamar Valley yogurts were on special. I think they were last week too. Uh, $6 for the 700 grams. These are the ones with like the saucy bits in them. Yeah, there you go. You can see that. That's the peaches and cream one. My husband really likes those. So I've got one of those to pop in the fridge. Uh, Kale will possibly tuck into some as well. But because there's the vanilla bean, he'll probably go for that first. Now, I've got four containers of the brown sour cream today because, like I said, I've got markets tomorrow, markets Sunday, and then markets next Saturday. So, uh, markets next Sunday as well, actually. But I'll be able to shop after my Saturday market next week. So, I've got three markets. So, I'll need um, three of these for the markets. And then I'm hoping to do like a southern style chicken, maybe tortilla wrap, something or other during the week. And I thought some sour cream would be good to go with that. So that's why I have got four. They were two dollars eighty each, makes a total of eleven dollars twenty. Got some feta, so we can do our Greek salad, Greek style feta. These, this is the best one that I found. It's a really cheap, convenient. It's two hundred grams, and it's three dollars fifty. Uh, I was talking about that southern chicken. I'm going to do. I needed buttermilk, and this was the only buttermilk on the shelf. So I wanted to get a smaller one, but this was all they had. So maybe I'll do it a couple of times. The use by is not for January, so I can probably use it a few times between now and then, especially if this chicken works. So in one of my boxes, um, if you follow my channel, the Foodies Collective box, there was a like a southern style crumb or a crispy crumb or something for chicken. I'm going to try and do those up, and you did need to put, coat your chicken in the buttermilk and then in the crispy coating. I'm going to cook it up, pop it in some tortillas with a salad rather than do a burger. The recipe um, that came with it did say to use burgers, but I'm going to try and do that and see how we go. Now, the sausages, we've got the eight beef sausages, herb and garlic. They were two for 12, so I've got a herb and garlic and I've got the plain one. One of our meals over the week while things are weekend, while things are crazy busy, I thought we would just do hot dogs. Because I've also got some hot dog relish to use out of that um, Foodies Collective box. So I thought we could have hot dogs. And then the other sausages that are left, maybe I could do curried sausages. And keep it in the fridge in case we need a quick and easy meal. So that was those. Now I've got the kilo of beef mints. Because I'm going to try also after my markets tomorrow um, on Sunday do a meatloaf which is the meatloaf wrapped in bacon and it has parmesan cheese and soy sauce and almond meal in it as opposed to flour and things so it's kind of like a gluten-free version I suppose but it's uh, just a lower carb version and it's really tasty my husband and son like it and we just have it with a Greek salad so I can do that and that will do us for a couple of meals and then cold for me for lunch as well um, the chicken, now I'm struggling with getting the right types of chicken each time I need to shop. So this was the chicken that I've got to try and do that southern style chicken. I thought maybe I could slice these into three or four pieces and do it that way. Um, and then I've got some chicken left over to maybe do, got a bit of broccoli left from last week. Maybe I can do chicken and broccoli and things for tea one night. As another option, I've just, I know I'm going to have a little bit extra this week, but... Uh, we've got just over a week and I'm needing to try and be as prepared with quick and easy meals as I can. These are Dosonia Mild Tasty Sticks. We always grab these. Now the far, uh, 200 gram packs were on special today, but they still worked out dearer than buying one of these. So I just got one of the 400 gram ones. That will stick in the fridge. Kayla will have them for lunch. My husband and I will have them as well. Um, so they definitely won't go astray. Kale's milk. Now he um, isn't here to help me undo the shopping today, so I can just stash this in the fridge for him. It's the 1st of January, so it's got quite a long, it's got a month left. So I'll pop that in the fridge and he can have that when he sees it. Hopefully we can get through to the weekend. I did need some more butter. Now the 500 grams, unsolded butter, we use it in cooking. Um, I have one out of the fridge that I'll quite often use to like butter toast and things if we're having that. They're six dollars forty each, so it was twelve dollars eighty just for butter today. But that's the standard price. It's been going up and up, but it seems to have steadied there. Then the dairy farmers yogurts were on special again. So the thick and creamy, I got the lemon cream and the mango and passion fruit. I think they were the same as I got the other day. They were half price, so they were dollar twenty-five each. 
and they're just great for a snack after school for my son or if my hubby needs a snack before he goes off to bowls after work and finally I've got some shredded cheese so I've got one of these we're going to maybe do uh, another quick option that I've got in my mind if we need it is like a taco salad but then we've also got cheese for the southern style wraps that we do the blocks of cheese are really hard to come by but I've got that 700 grams that was seven dollars fifty uh, kale's tips so they were two for six dollars I did have these on the shelf today um, not lots of other varieties so I just got in two of the 40% less sodium because they're actually quite nice you can eat a little packet of these and you're not like diving for a glass of water like they just don't have as much salt but they're still tasty so there's six of those in each one he'll probably have those after school um, hopefully that will last him until school's finished and then the Doritos chips were half price. So this was my thinking halfway around Woolies today. These were half price. So I've got the nacho cheese and the original salted. They're the ones that we use if we're doing a taco salad. So they were $2.15 each. Now to do a taco salad, I do mince with kidney beans and some of the flavours to Mexico go spice blend. A little bit of flour to thicken it if you want or you can just cook it straight down. And we just crunch up the corn chips layer them in a pasta bowl sprinkle some cheese on top so when you put your mince on it kind of melts the cheese then on top just put cheese um tomato lettuce cucumber avocado if you like things like that you just tuck into it with a spoon so i can do half a kilo of mince and that does us for usually a meal and then leftover lunch for somebody the next day so it's quick and easy and always good to have on hand now the lcms I got this big box today. I don't normally get these, but this was a 15 bar value pack. And that one's special for $7, which was heaps cheaper than the other ones. It's got the three different sorts in them. I don't know that he's had the unicorn ones, but I reckon he'll still eat them because they'll uh, still taste nice and sweet. And being 15 bars, I'm hoping that will get him through the next two weeks of school. So we've got those. I needed some more little dental brushes. So these are the, just the little wire brushes that you clean between your teeth. I like using these um, like, since I've had Invisalign fitted to my teeth. I seem to have a few like bigger gaps down the bottom. Not massive, but just um, I find that these are better than dental floss when I've got the little gaps. So I got these ones. They were $3 instead of $5 today and there's 12 in there and they've got little caps and everything. So I'll try them and see how they go. Um, now the dry ginger ale, I think I said last time I'm stashing a few of these away for Christmas and New Year because last year we couldn't get them um, at that time. So I thought I would buy them. They're on special for $1.50 each. But I thought I can pop them away um, and then they're ready to go in the fridge when we're ready to have some Christmas New Year drinks. Some dried apple. My son ate the whole packet in under a week. So these weren't on special because they were on special last week. But um, I figured last two weeks of school he's doing really well. He's done such a great year. Um, and just to go off on a side note to let you know why I'm so proud of him. There are 110, I think, students in his year. He's in year seven. He's just started high school this year. And the teachers all vote, uh, put votes in for students. They call it um, for legends. Now, a legend is not academic. A legend is someone who is polite, who listens in class, who gets their work done, is courteous towards other students, all that kind of stuff. So the te all teachers throughout the year have got together and they voted uh, for students. And I'm not sure, there's somewhere between 20 and 30 kids and um, Kale's been selected. They get a day off school, so they get to go from school down to the beach. They spend the morning at the beach, they'll have a Subway lunch and then they'll go to a movie during the afternoon. So And then go back to school in time to come home. So... Very proud of him because he has done well academically as well. And to be selected as that when there's so few that go, he's just totally chuffed. So, you know, I've got a couple of extra things to get him through school because I am really proud of him. It's, yeah. If you know, you know, you get through this year and when it's the first year of high school, um, you never really know how they're going to go. 
Okay, so back to shopping. Two cans of kidney beans. These are 80 cents each. I'll use a whole can of these in our um, taco salad and then I just wanted one for the pantry because I didn't have any left in the pantry. Um, now sliced olives. These are just the Woolworths ones. Um, they're black. I think it's there. Yeah, they're the Spanish olives. So they're the real black ones as opposed to the Kalamata. Um, but these, because they're already sliced, they are really good just to quickly put on top of a salad, pack them in my husband's lunch. He can even put his own on if he so wishes. 430 grams and it's only, only $2 a jar. So there's a lot in here. So I use those for the salads. But then I've got the pitted Kalamata olives because I like putting these um, just in my lunch as well because the sliced ones tend to sort of like fall underneath all the rest of the salad that I take. I don't put dressing or anything on mine. I just take big lumps of salad to chew on. Um, so these I quite like. Um, so I got those as well. So they were $5.20 for the 500 grams. And then some gherkins. These are on special. These are the sliced gherkins, the triple threes ones, and they were $4. I think they were normally 5 but I just got them so we can put them away towards Christmas as well. I got a four pack of the lemon lime and bitters. These were half price. So they were $3.50 today. And I'll quite often, I might have one, one drink. I don't normally open a great big bottle of sweats and go through the whole lot if I'm having some drinks. And the lemon lime and bitters is really nice with just a little bit of vodka or something like that. So I, I bought those for me for me, uh, me for Christmas and New Year. Righto, uh, baked beans. These are the little tin for two. They are 300 grams. They are $1.50 each. They are on special. So I've got two of those today. We have gone through the baked beans I got the other day. I did need some more outline markers. So these are markers and um, crossing out my dress on my subscription boxes and writing labels when we're sending things away. These were on special. Two pack for $5.46. And then our normal jar of pesto was on special this week, so I grabbed it while I saw it. Um, that was for $4.50. We do our cheesy spaghetti with those. And then for me for work for the week, the chopped peanut caramel fudge bars. These are still on clearance, so um, they were $6 for a packet of four instead of $10. And they're quite small bars, but I do have them with a cuppa for same morning tea at work. And it does stop me going for the Bicky Barrel and things like that. So got those. And now this is an indulgence for me. They were a little bit expensive. This is the Olinas Bakehouse Artisan Crisp Bread Whole Seed. They've got sunflower, pumpkin, linseed and poppy seeds in them. And they're big, thick crackers. So I think they go, yeah, they go the length of the box. So they're great big ones. So they're almost sandwich crackers. Now they were 170 grams. So there's only about seven or eight biscuits in there. They were $4. But what I'm going to do, because I'm going through my foodies collective box and I am cooking out of it this week and next week. So hopefully I've got that done before the next one arrives. Because if you've been following my channel, you know the last few weeks have been absolutely ballistic for us. So there was a jar of tuna and there's a dip spread thing that you can make up that's got light sour cream, it's got the tuna, it's got some capers, it's got some fresh parsley, some bits and pieces in it and I thought I might be able to take a little container of that with some of these for my lunch uh, with maybe just a few salady things. So that's what I'm hoping to do this week for lunch. And also in that box was a falafel mix. So I'm going to make up the falafels and I needed some pita breads. This was the only ones that they had. There were two packets of these on the shelf and that was it. So we'll try these. I have turned these into mini pizzas for kale before. So don't imagine they will eat the falafels, but we'll try them. But the other thing is, is I can make them up and I can take this to work for lunch as well so that was my options for lunch this week so the pita breads were four dollars forty they weren't on special but i just needed i needed them so i bought them now biscuits um i try and get one packet of biscuits for my husband a week um just so he's got a treat in the cupboard too now these are the cabri cookie soft center i think they are yeah soft center 
chocolate chip biscuits they're three dollars now i think there's only like half a dozen biscuits in these packets but they were the ones that were on special this week the arnott's cream biscuits for the second week in a row there were literally none on the shelf i think they must be caught there's uh between the floods between east and west there's also been a train derailment somewhere We've got freight that's not coming through to WA and I think there's lots of groceries that must be stuck as well because some of the staff was bare last week and is bare this week as well. So I just got these ones because, yeah, I mean, he's picky, but he's not picky, you know, so sweet biscuits, he'll eat them. So got those and then these are our um, tortillas that I'll do our wraps with, with our southern chicken. The 10 regular flour ones, these are super soft. They were on special this week for $4, so I got those. And then the clearance, they had some of these, um, these Booja Cracker Mix. So it says, fragrant and flavorful spices contrast with a delicious mix of wholesome crunchy nibbles, mini rice crackers, garden peas, peanuts, chickpeas, and succulent sultanas. I thought that sounded really good. Um, as like a Christmas one. I know I've still got some things left over from my hubby's party, but I thought, well, we can keep these as well. We don't have to open them straight away. But they were on clearance for only $2.95, which I think is about half price or less than half price. So I grabbed those just to add, and then we're down to the healthier end. So they had these bags of cukes again. These were cheaper than the little, like, plastic trays they're 350 grams the other ones are normally 200 but these are only $2.26 so I don't know whether this is the last of that brand that they had it does say that their date like best before date is shortly but kale eats them like there's no tomorrow so I think we will be fine with those for my little tuna spready thing I needed some parsley now this is i uh, just about choked when I picked this up because they are four dollars a packet but it says fresh for four weeks once opened the other fresh fresh parsley looked like it had been sitting on the shelf for four weeks it was terrible so I thought I can get this because I can reseal it I can use a little bit and it'll mean that at least I use it all um, I don't know that I'm going to be able to catch up with my market friends that have herbs and things to be able to get parsley before I need it. So I just bit the bullet and did that. Green cabbage, I got a half so I can do a coleslaw. Either thinking a coleslaw to go with one of our meals during the week or even that meatloaf or possibly in the tortilla wraps with the chicken. I'm not sure. Uh, but that was $3.50 for a half. And then they have the snackables carrots. They don't normally have these. Like they haven't had them for a long time. But these are like little tiny baby carrots. Kale love the, loves these in his lunch with the cukes. So they were $3. So I've got those. Uh, because I've got lots of markets coming up, I've got my husband some crumpets so he can have these for brekkie. Uh, he'll quite often cook himself eggs on toast or I'll cook him eggs on toast. But when we're all in a hurry and the house is a madhouse in the morning, he'll sometimes just cook crumpets and it's a weekend. So they were half price at $2. Got those. Um, the kilo bag of brown onions. These are just the Woolies ones. They were $1.90. And then the adorable apples. I did manage to get the two kilo bag today. So the apples look like they're changing. These look like they might be, uh, I don't know. They're not quite a pink lady, but they might be. They're a bit green, but um, there's a lot in here. They were two kilos and they were $6.90. So we will all eat them. Then the continental cucumbers are finally coming down in price. And look at the size of them. They're a nice, decent size. They were $2 each. So I got two of those because we'll do quite a few salads this week. Um, so they will be great. And then raisin toast for my son now um <laughs> the one i bought last week he only toasted about a third of a loaf the rest of it he just ate it as bread straight out of the packet um or he would have his breakfast and if he was still hungry he'd have a piece of raisin bread after which he's a growing boy i'm six foot he's just well it's 13 in september 
he can stand on his tippy toes and look me in the eye and I think by the time he starts school he'll be able to stand on his tippy toes and look down on me so he is going through a massive growth spurt so if he's wanting to have thick raisin toast for brekkie on top of his normal breakfast that's fine so four dollars fifty I'm sure any of you that have got teenage boys know what it's like when they start to grow. Uh, so for his sandwiches, we've got the white loaf. This is the extra soft 800 gram loaf for $3.50. And then because I'm home today, I saw these on clearance in the bakery and this will probably make some of my lunch. These are the mini cheese and garlic scrolls. It's a six pack. They were $5 marked down to $3.50. They're not that thick. But um, I'm not quite sure why they were marked down because they look like they might still be fresh. They might be yesterday's maybe, but that won't worry me. So, like I said, they were $3.50. And then I've got some hot dog rolls because, like I said, we'll do sausage in a bun, do some little hot, roll, hot dogs. And these are the smaller ones, but I do like these ones as opposed to the really long ones. They were $2.50. So it means you get to still have your bread without having more bread than a sausage so that is the major that's my glasses but oh sorry that's my groceries but i did pick up some glasses so these are the woolies rewards what did they call them i can't think what they called them reward tokens or something or rather reward credits they called them so last time I got the pasta bowls, these were $35.35. They come up as $35, but they credit it back to you when you scan your card. They are 35 points. And these, they look pretty cool. Look at those. And they're quite a decent size. So I'm quite impressed with those. I'm not sure whether I've still got lots of credits to use i can probably get another two lots of glasses because i did earn some extra credits today i don't know whether to get some more of these beer ones or whether to get some of the drinking ones so i might get the drinking ones next week and then see what i've got left over but um yeah if you're thinking about getting them i think they're actually quite a nice glass Right, oh, so that was my shopping. Now the total came to it was over three hundred dollars, but because I had my ten percent uh, Woolworths rewards extra to use, it actually made it only two hundred and sixty-two dollars with my ten percent discount taken off. And then I did use my. Woolworths rewards dollars that I had saved which was I had $190 left over from last week so this whole shop today including my glasses my discount all this sort of stuff cost me $72 so I thought that was great for a week my total savings I'll show you so this is including now is it going to focus this is including um Oh, there, no, my, maybe not. There you go. It does say $306.90. So that's including like my glasses and my 10% discount and the Woolies dollars that I've used. So my points, this shop as well, like my normal points was just over 2,000 points and I was almost ready to earn my extra $10. So I now have $20 to spend next week. So I've got $10 that I did just from today's shop plus the topping up to the 2,000 points. So I've still got $20 in there and I've still got a balance of 71 credits which are for the glasses and the plates and cutlery and things like that. I don't need plates and cutlery so I think I might just try and get a couple more sets of glasses. We've got about a month and a half I think before we can do that. So that was what I had. So I didn't have any extra freebies today but I was so stoked with all this. So this has all cost me $72 including the $16 for our turkey. There was $19 of dog food. So it's been a really great shop. So, all right, it's lunchtime. I'm going to pop this away, have some lunch, and then finish getting ready for the market. So thanks for watching. Um, I did have someone say that they wanted to see some cooking recipes of what I do, I'm trying to work out how I can fit that into my life because I need to film that while the house is really quiet. So I'm working on it and as soon as I'm able to, I will try and bring you some recipes of some of the things that I 
cook on a weekly basis. So until then, I hope you're having a great day. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.